Hi guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you a just haul of stuff of recent eBay listings. So most of this stuff is either from auctions, yard sales, flea markets, I think I have some antique store stuff in here as well. So let's just get started because there is a lot to go through. Okay, the first thing I have is this old um, cardboard, like paper mache egg and it's got the cutest print on it of a rabbit walking a little chick. It is so adorable. Uh, this is by a company called Nestler and it says it's made in Germany. Oh my gosh, why is my, there we go. My lighting was really whiting that out. So I thought this was really cute, perfect for, um, like Easter decorating. So this came from an auction. It was in like a box lot of stuff that we purchased. I have it listed as a buy it now for $39.99. I saw one with the same exact print sell on Etsy for more than that. So, uh, but I didn't see any currently on eBay with this print specifically. Next thing I have is a bottle of perfume. This is an older perfume called Emerald. It is by Cody 0.8 fluid ounce. So this also came from an auction, like a box lot of um, beauty items. Unfortunately, this fragrance isn't really worth much. I have it listed as a buy it now for $9.99. All right, these next items also came from an auction. And again, these were in a box lot of stuff. They're still in their little styrofoam, but these are little Home Co. Christmas um, bears. So we got like a mama bear, a papa bear, and a little baby bear. I'm not gonna take them out, but they're in really nice condition, like, like new, I would say. Um, I have these listed for a buy it now of $19.99. And also in that box, this was just like random stuff in the box lot, um, was another set. These ones are probably my favorite. These ones are the little Christmas mice set. Again, I have these as a buy it now for $19.99. Next item was on the same beauty tray as some of the other uh, beauty items I'll show. This is a vintage Miss Dior by Christian Dior um, hand soap set. So this is a really nice set. There is two bars of um, soap on either side and these are fragrance with the Miss Dior fragrance. And then inside this little reusable plastic um, soap container is another bar of soap and everything is still sealed. I did not see this specific set listed or sold i wasn't sure what to price it at kind of went a little high on this one just in case um, i put it up on auction with a starting price of 99 dollars 99 i don't know if i'll get that for it uh, but we'll see i just didn't have anything to go by i got this little halloween mini boyds uh, this is actually a black cat he's wearing a little um mask and he comes in this little Halloween bag. I actually found this in an antique store for five dollars so I went ahead and picked him up and I have him listed as a buy it now for $45.99. Um, with these there was a bear, a cat, and a dog and I do believe the dog is worth the most money because he's harder to find. This knife actually came with the egg that I showed. Um, it's actually a really nice knife. If I can get it out of here. It's like a serrated knife. It's by a company called Thiers Assard. It was made in France. Hopefully you guys can see the blade there. Um, these were actually selling pretty decently. Um, Eric listed this on auction with a starting price of $32.99. Just you cannot ship knives overseas, just throwing it out there. So if you have any kind of knife, whether it's just like a cake knife or anything like that, you cannot ship that overseas. <laughs> Learned that one. Next item, I'm gonna post up a picture because it's larger and I'm not quite sure where Eric put it, uh, but he did win this at the auction. This is kind of like a promotional type item, probably like in, um, 
you know, a store that sells alcohol and stuff like that. It has something to do with rum. Um, it's just like this machete looking thing. Like, I don't know. It's like an advertising type of piece. He paid $10 for it at the auction and we have it listed as a buy it now for $59.99. Alright, I fell in love with these guys. Um, these were at the auction on a tray and I feel like they're harder to find. Like you just don't see these out and about. Um, they're by a company called Rossini Japan is what the um, label on the bottom says. I paid I paid seven dollars for the tray that these were on. So um, this one here is just like a big eyed lion. I have him listed on auction with a starting price of $19.99. And this one was also on the same tray. Um, this one is a tiger and I have him listed the same $19.99 on auction. This one actually still has the original um, price tag on it. That's really cool. So got those and then these little pig salt and pepper shakers were on the same tray so I decided to list them I thought that they were so cute I mean look at their faces they look so concerned don't they like really worried about something <laughs> but one says I'm salt and the other says I'm pepper they do have corks but they like fell up inside of them I have no idea how you get the corks out of those when they fall back in but they are marked japan i have these listed as a buy it now for nine dollars and 99 cents this toy also came from the auction this is an older mattel toy do we have a date on you this is from 2001 um this is a rock'em sock'em robot and his name is Bazooka Bot. So he's still sealed. His packaging, you know, isn't like pristine. There is some like curling in the cardboard. Uh, we paid $5 for this and I have it listed as a buy it now for $39.99. Eric won this at the auction. It's some sort of cast iron, uh, they call it a glue pot. So I guess you put, oh goodness, I don't want it to fall out. Um, I guess you put glue in there and it keeps it hot. I think um, he said, someone had told him that people who make furniture used it a lot to, um, you know, put on the wood when they were gluing furniture. So anyway, he paid $7.50 for this and we have it listed as a buy it now for $39.99. So we stopped at a yard sale and I found a wizard lava lamp. If you guys watched all of my videos, you remember at one point I found a wizard lava lamp and I sold it for really good money. I have never come across another one again until the other week. So unfortunately with this one, the the lamp itself like that has the liquid in, um, liquid was missing from it it wasn't full anymore I don't know someone like tried to open the top of it or something I don't know why someone would do something like that but regardless I paid three dollars for the lamp and I told Eric I was like I realize that there is liquid missing from this lamp and I'm not going to ship that part but we can sell the base and the top as replacement pieces um so that's one thing definitely to keep in the back of your mind when you might find something that isn't in the best condition or there's a part of it that's no good but you know you can sell um, the rest of the pieces for something decent so I paid three dollars for the lamp and I listed just the base and the top and when I say wizard lamp if you got wizard lava lamp if you guys don't know what I'm talking about um, it's the ones that have these cut out stars and moons so when it's lit up they kind of shine through those cutouts. Anyway, so I listed just these pieces for a buy it now of $59.99 and it has a ton of watchers. So I definitely feel like it will sell at some point. So that was a good find regardless. Next two items already sold. So I'm going to pop them up because these were really good items. So Eric went to an auction and he learned a little bit about old license plates we didn't really know much about them until we went to the auction we saw a couple 
looked them up and were pleasantly surprised by what we saw. So these two license plates are motorcycle license plates and these were older. So the first one was a 1947 Maryland motorcycle license plate. Eric paid $105 for it and it sold as a buy it now for $500. So that was a really great flip. Um, People buy these old motorcycle licenses because apparently you can still use them um, if you're restoring like an old bike and stuff like that. Like you can get them re-registered using those old tags. And when people have an old bike, they want to put an old tag on. Um, you know, people sell old license plates and stuff as well, but motorcycle plates definitely seem to sell better. In, in our opinion anyway. We don't know a whole lot yet, but we're still learning. Um, and he also sold this next one. Um, this one was for a 1946 Maryland motorcycle plate. He paid again $105 for it. And again, this one sold for a buy it now of $500. So that was just great sales right there. I was so happy about that. Um, and then he also got this plate. This says it's a licensed uh, property of York Sanitary Milk Company. So it's some sort of um, like milk milking license plate. I really don't know much about it. Uh, but when he looked it up, he was seeing good numbers as far as reselling goes. Um, it does have a lot of watchers, and there's a lot of people out there, like a lot of men and women who collect old, um, like antique milk bottles and just dairy stuff in general. I know those, like those old milk bottles can sell really well um, at the auction when we go. So he did pay $120 for this one. And he has this one on auction with a starting price of $549. So I think he wants to at least get that for it, but we'll see if it sells for that or any more. Next thing I have is this Victoria's Secret jewelry set. Um, it looks like this. There is a double stranded necklace in there as well as this like um, bangle bracelet. I got this at a yard sale like a long time ago. I paid $3 for it. It's just been sitting in my jewelry box and as you can see, I never wore it and I probably never will. So I decided to list it. I put this up as a buy it now for $18.99. I also have this set of vintage Estee Lauder um, fragrance soaps. This is in the scent Alliage and it's definitely older, you can tell by the packaging. What's really cute about these, it's a set of three and they're all shaped like little pears. They're adorable. And they have that Ali, Aliage fragrance to them. So they're all brand new, still sealed. These came on one of the beauty trays. I won, I don't have all of the stuff listed yet, um, but it was two trays and I paid all together for everything $52. So I have these up as a buy it now for $49.99. I got this turkey mold at a yard sale. This is by Brown Bag Cookie Art. It still has its tag. So you can make cookies out of this. It's a really heavy like stoneware. And I thought since Thanksgiving is coming up, you know, maybe it would sell. I paid $5 for this mold and I have it listed as a buy it now for $24.99. One, this Fenton vase at the auction. This is absolutely beautiful, hand painted. It's cased glass, really, really pretty with the floral. Um, and it is signed by the person who painted it. Um, we paid $27.50 for this vase. And I have it listed as a buy it now for $225.99. It's currently the cheapest one available on eBay. So these ones can sell really well. I got this fossil crossbody purse. I actually got this at a yard sale and I kept it. I pretty much used it all summer long while I was out yard sailing. Um, but I have so many crossbody bags and you know, I like change. I like, you know, switching it up. So I decided to list this one. Um, I'm pretty sure I paid $5 for it originally. 
and I have it up on auction with a starting price of $19.99. I have a couple of scrub tops. I don't have them all listed, um, but this one is a Disney scrub top. It has Bambi all over it. It's a size 3X. I paid $1 for it, and I have it listed as a buy it now for $12.99. Then I also have this one. This one is a Peanuts one. Again, size 3X. I paid a dollar for this as well, and again, I have it as a buy it now for $12.99. I like picking up vintage, new in the packaging, blankets and linens and things like that. I found this vintage beacon blanket. This is for a, um, this is a size twin full. And it has these geese all over it. Do you guys remember the geese? These were like really popular in the 90s. I paid $3 for this blanket and I have it listed as a buy it now for $29.99. I got that at a flea market. Same with this one. This one also came from the flea market. This one's by a company called Home Designs. Um, it's also a twin and full, will fit twin and full size beds. And it's in the style called Desert Flowers. This one has a really nice, like, southwestern Aztec type of print to it, which is really popular. So I do have this one listed higher. I paid $3 for this one, and I have it listed as a buy it now for $49.99. Next item, I'm going to pop up a picture because it's big. Harry Potter train set, brand new. Eric won this at an auction for $100, and we have it listed as a buy it now for $229.99. This perfume also came from one of the beauty trays that I won at the auction. These aren't sealed, but they're pretty well, like, full um, bottles. This one here, oh gosh, this was one of my mom's favorite. I have her bottle still, uh, but it took all I had to smell this, and I, I did. I did take a whiff of it, um, but I did list this as a buy it now for $19.99. I also have another Fenton piece that I won at the auction. Um, this one here is a green opalescent coin dot glass basket. This collar here is like really hard to find. Um, this is a really expensive piece. Um, I don't think anyone really realized just how good it was at the auction. Um, I paid $42.50 for this basket. I have it listed on auction only because there's none currently listed. Um, I put it up on auction with a starting price of $449.99. That's what the last one sold for. So I figured I'd like to at least get that. Um, I have seen it sell for higher than that, but I've also seen it sell a little lower than that as well. So, but since there's none listed, I figured maybe I can get that much for mine as well. So we'll see, but that was a really good score. Eric and I won this really cool ashtray at the auction. So like her legs, like this little pinup girl, her legs move back and forth and her fan. So I guess like the premise is when you put like a cigarette down on here, the smoke like blows across and it'll start like waving her legs and fan. So just a really nice piece. It's in very nice condition. Um, we did pay $22.50 for her, and I put her up as a buy it now for $99.99. We also recently just won this ashtray at an auction. This is a really cool piece. Uh, I've only ever seen it listed one other time. Um, it is marked on the bottom B&B &B mold, um, and it is shaped like a, the nuclear plant um, and it's marked Three Mile Island. So it is an ashtray. You can see on the top it's got indents. I thought this was a really cool piece for anyone who collects anything like Three Mile Island related. So Three Mile Island incident like happened before, um, you know, I was born. But um, we live really close to it. We 
paid $35 for this at the auction and we put it up on auction with a starting price of $100. It's so unique and so interestingly cool that, you know, I think someone out there will at least pay that much for it. So we'll see, but just a really unique piece. I mean, talk about a conversation starter, right? I got this Tova vintage perfume set on one of those trays from the auction. It has four different Tova perfumes in here. They're all different um, scents and they all appear to be new. I listed these as a buy it now for $89.99. Got this yellow swung vase. It's like an ambery yellow. Um, this came from an auction. Uh, we paid $7 for it. I have it listed um, on auction with a starting price of $19.99. I have this exact same one in green that I got from a yard sale. I only paid a dollar for that one. So as always, auctions are always sometimes way more expensive than yard sales. Um, but now I have this yellow amber one as well. I got this at a yard sale. This is a Santa... Um, on a sled, it is glass. This is by Westmoreland. Um, and he's made with cadmium, so when you put a black light on him, the um, he does glow, so it's really cool. I've had a blue one before that I sold. I'm pretty sure I sold that to a subscriber. Um, but I did come across this one at a yard sale. I paid $5 for it, and I listed it as a buy it now for $49.99. I got this um, vintage, they call these Sweetie Pops. These are from the 80s, from 1989, I believe. So they're kind of like My Little Pony-esque, but they're just really hairy, furry dogs. I got this at a yard sale, I paid 50 cents for it, and I listed it as a buy it now for $19.99. I do have a couple of Buyer's Choice dolls. I won some of these at an auction a while back. Um, but since, you know, they're Christmas related, I decided to get some listed. So this first one is a lady holding um, a basket of cookies and a little pillow. Um, we paid $7.50 for her, and I have her listed as a buy it now for $49.99. I also got this one. This one's actually a Christmas Carol one. He still has his tags. This is Happy Scrooge. He's holding... Um, a pile of Christmas gifts. I paid $10 for him and I have this one listed as a buy it now for $59.99. This next one actually already sold. This one again was a Christmas Carol one of Bob Cratchit and Tiny Tim. I paid $10 for him and he sold as a buy it now for $59.99. And I also have this guy and he's like a basket man. He's got all of these baskets that he's holding, plus one, well, actually two on his back. So he's just like selling all sorts of baskets. Paid $10 for this one, and I have him listed as a buy it now for $59.99. Funny story, when Eric and I were in the antique store looking for Halloween stuff, we came across these dragons. And we actually saw these dragons at an auction that we did not go to. And <laughs> so obviously whoever owned this booth went, you know, to that auction and they were selling them so cheap. And we were debating going to the auction to bid on them because some of these can sell really, really well. Um, and the person at this booth must have got them super cheap because they didn't hardly want anything for them. So these are called um, the Whimsical World of Pocket Dragons is the name of them. So they're so cute. They're like little resin figures. This one was for like a set of three. It's titled Three Tough Dragons from Texas. So we ended up paying just $5 for this and I have it listed as a buy it now for $79.99. So that was so funny that we came across them at the antique store. There were some more of the dragons they only wanted a dollar for these tiny ones. So this one's titled, You Can't Make Me. So it's just a really cute little dragon. We have him listed as a buy it now for $19.99. This one's called, But I'm Too Little. 
And again, paid a dollar and I have him listed as a buy it now for $19.99. Called Nap Time. He's just taking a little nap. $1 for him and I have him listed as a buy it now for $19.99. This one's called Cushy. And he's just sitting on like a little pillow. We paid a dollar for him and I have him listed as a buy it now for, you guessed it, $19.99. And then the last one that I have, his name is Watson. Looks like this. We paid a dollar for him and, you know, buy it now, $19.99. I got this really pretty blue salt glaze pottery bowl um, at a yard sale. This is actually by Eldrith Pottery. It's got these blue, like, spongeware type stars all over it. Gorgeous bowl. I paid $5 for this at the yard sale and I have it listed as a buy it now for $39.99. Also got this vintage brass owl bell at a yard sale. This makes the best ding. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? Like this would be perfect to sit um, on the counter of like an old fashioned type store. Absolutely love it. Paid $5 for this at a yard sale and I listed it as a buy it now for $29.99. I won this jewelry box at a yard sale. It is a wooden jewelry box. It has this really pretty design on the top and then it's got like this silk um, front with like a lady playing a harp and a ballerina. So it's really cute. It's made in Japan. It's got three drawers and when you pull out the last one, it does play um, a tune. So I thought that was really cute. Um, I paid $5 for it at an auction and I have it listed as a buy it now for $39.99. I won this vintage, oh this is gorgeous, this blue um, glass cake stand. Oh this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I paid $7 for this at an auction and I have it listed as a buy it now for $99.99. I also got a couple Wedgwood pieces at the auction. This first one is this heart shaped um, trinket box. Looks like this. Uh, the pink Wedgwood pieces, in my opinion, with my research, I feel like sell better uh, because of their coloring. I paid $5 for this one and I have it listed as a buy it now for $49.99. I also won this one here, another pink Wedgwood trinket box. This one's a little bit smaller. Um, this one I paid $12 for and I have this listed as a buy it now for $29.99. Um, but it did come that trinket box came with this pink Wedgwood piece. And this one here is just like a little um, bud face. So this came with the other trinket for $12. And I have this listed as a buy it now for $29.99. All right, so that is everything for this haul. I have so much more stuff I want to share with you guys and show you. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. You'll have to let me know what you thought down in the comments and I will see you next time.